hello and welcome to my channel please like share and subscribe if you like this video and thanks for watching thank you to my day ones twos and threes thank you to all my new subscribers that's coming in that means well thank you all so very much i appreciate you and welcome this video is for entertainment and educational purposes only so everything is alleged so it's not in the fair act uses in my description box y'all so let's get to it y'all you know, I'm getting a lot of comments about Dolph in the situation of the video I just put up. So I just wanted to go over a few things because people are saying that Dolph went in the store because people was following him and he figured that he would be safe because the door is locked. Well, that doesn't make any sense either, y'all, because even if he was in the inside of that door, there's nothing but glass around the whole store. So he still wouldn't feel safe right there. Unless he was in the back of the store. But for to be over there on the side where the glass is that anybody can easily hit up, that don't make any sense. That makes no sense. If you were, just think of somebody was chasing you. And you went into a building where you can lock the door. Would you go over to the side in a vulnerable spot where they can see you right there through the glass? That don't make sense. It's nobody's going to just make themselves a target by getting right in the glass. Okay, so someone said um, the second per his second in command that he called him. I don't know if it's Snoop Bands or something like that, but word on the street was he called Snoop Bands that morning and he did not answer the phone. So. They said that he gave an excuse that he was getting a haircut. This is your boss calling. He's in town, you know, moving around where people got hits on him. So why wouldn't you answer the phone? You can always, you know, pick up your phone while you're getting your haircut and stop for a minute. So to be honest, when I first heard about this, I was like, you know, was people on alert that was a part of this to, you know, not answer their phones and this and that? That's the first thing that came to my mind when that came up. Um, they say he also lied about the timeline that he received the phone call. That's the second thing that makes you think that maybe he played a part in it. Now, I'm not saying he did. I'm saying... You know, some don't seem right if somebody called you. You already know the timeline because it comes up on your phone. So why would you lie about the time that he called you? So some don't seem right about that either, y'all. Um, what else? And like I said, the part that gets me, if he felt like his life was in danger, why would you send the one person away to go to the store or wherever that he went? demon his brother why would you send that one person away when he is holding down you know supposed to be on security for you that don't make sense y'all that makes none sense to send him away i don't care if it was going next door or whatever he was just down the street at the gas station and he looked up and saw somebody that he allegedly you know because people are saying that he was on the phone arguing with somebody or or on social media but I think that the feds would have then picked them up and questioned them if that was the case. So is that is that something that people just made up? I don't know where they even came from. But that's what's going around on the internet. Um, let's see what else everybody is saying. Because there's a lot of comments up here. Oh, people was talking about the... Um, the air tags. People are saying that it seemed like that would be against the law. It's a lot of stuff that seemed like it would be against the law that's going on. Especially the air tags, the um, people that's running around with him, these machine toys at the age that they're running around with them. You know, it has gotten much, much harder for polices to police the communities. When you have, you know, little kids, 11, 12, 13, 14 and up, Running around carrying stuff that's bigger than they're carrying, y'all. So, y'all have to think about this. A lot of things is, is crazy that's going on down there in Tennessee and in Dallas. With um just the, the laws and stuff about the toys. 
These kids are running around here and they're free to do this. They're saying if they got a toy on the seat and the police pull them over, they can't really say anything about it. You know, that's crazy. And they wonder why police is, is not really doing their jobs. That's a crazy job to have to deal with when any time you pull up on somebody or whatever, they are carrying, you know, toys that's bigger than yours. And I don't think that the police cars are bulletproof, y'all. So, is this the reason why a lot of cops is not really caring about, you know, what's going on out here in the streets? Because they're put their lives in danger because of the laws that's being passed as well. And you wonder why what's the purpose of this in the first place, y'all. Um, let's get to the next person. Okay, they said he was calling Snoop Bands. And he was supposed to, you know, have a video shoot or something that Snoop Bands was supposed to be there too. So that's even further tells you that this Snoop Bands know about it. Because how do you ignore, you know, your boss calling if y'all was about to go do a video shoot? You know, that don't make any sense to me. Um... People said even if it was a um, air tag on the car, then um, they still had to know where Dolph was gonna be. Yeah, I do believe that. I do believe they did. I do believe that um, somebody on the inside told his schedule, or somebody that called out the blue. Maybe he was in that area and asked him to go get some cookies for somebody or wh whoever. I think that was the purpose of that phone call that in the car probably something to go get some cookies because they were sending him over there to his, you know, to the trap. That, that's why I say his phone call is very important and not just the phone call from, you know, I would say that phone calls from the, the day before up until that day, up until that day is very important. And somebody, you know, brought this to my attention as well. You know, um, they should not just pull the footage from the day that Dolph was taken out. They should pull the footage from the store, the back camera and the front cameras of, you know, activity that was going on at the Makitas. You know, was people just coming in there to buy cookies or was people coming into the back door like people say they was? Okay, so it's a lot of stuff that you know, the police should be going over. And my understanding that it was businesses like next door and across the street that has cameras as well. And they're saying that the store is down the street from some airport or something and the police station, y'all. So you gotta, they gotta have cameras all over the place for even getting the license plates for the cars that was in their area that morning and everything. Like these people were set up around that store. They were posted up around that store. So it's no way that they don't have footage of those cars and everything else, of the people that was watching that store. This is how they catch criminals. A lot of times, how they catch criminals is those lights, y'all. Them street, them street cameras, not lights, them street cameras. Just to even know if you were in that area at the time that something went down, that's very important. I don't know why people come to my page just to tell me, oh, this person said this on their page. This person said this about this months ago. Who cares? You know, it's I can't stand petty people, y'all. And we got a whole bunch of them that be in the comment sections and running from page to page. It's a shame that people have nothing to do with their lives but nitpick, you know. So whatever um, O'Nan said, they're saying that OG somebody, he said it first. It doesn't matter who said what first, y'all. The whole point is you're trying to get down to the bottom of what happened to Dolphin, what happened to Mo3, and what happened to a lot of more people that Snooty Wow and all of the rest of them. This is the whole point of this. It's not about who said what first and 
who said this and that and that and that, y'all. It's about everybody discussing it and, you know, trying to get down to the bottom of things and, and break this chain reaction that's constantly, like, happening over and over and over again. A lot of people are saying the baby mama has something to do with it. A lot of people are still saying the baby mama has something to do with it. That there's somebody, somebody close to him. And like I said, if you think about him and you think about Mo 3's case, it's the same scenario, y'all. Two baby mamas that they were saying that they were going to marry, but yet and still they were out here messing around with so many other females on them. Is it far-fetched that the baby mama will help? No, it's not. And in Mo 3's case, his baby mama, like I said, had a brother that him and Mo 3 stayed into it with. Mo 3 even jumped on him a couple times, okay? So there was a riff in that, you know, who do you stick with? Do you stick with your brother or do you stick with your man, your baby daddy? That's running around here cheating on you with everything moving. Okay? And it's the same thing with Dolph case. You know, people want to say, you know, they want they want to believe that she's so much special than the average woman. And that she's so much different than the average woman. She's a woman. She didn't carry both of this man kids. And um, she's been with them through thick and thin a very long time. She didn't watch him grow. She didn't watch him get to the point where he is. And the bigger, it, and I'm going to just say this because it's true. The bigger that Dolph got, the more arrogant he was kind of, okay? And he knew the ladies was on him and he didn't, he didn't push him away. She sit back and watch this. She sit back and watch the same thing we watched with, and she probably seen even more. We seen text messages from um in post from Yo Gotti's baby mama, allegedly baby mama, toward Dolph. She liked it, Dolph. She was really feeling Dolph, okay? And there were a lot of more women that were in Memphis that was feeling Dolph. And that jealousy in Yo Gotti, he didn't like it. He did not like it. And the fact that he would t taunt him, that he's messing with his 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 baby mama and all of this. Yeah, people are saying that him and um, Gucci was laughing about it and all of this stuff. But look who took the fall, not Gucci, for laughing about Yo Gotti. Dolph took the fall. He the one is laid out in the store. And I don't understand why people think that sh her feelings is no different than the other average woman. If a man do a woman like this for so long, some women just get to that point that they didn't had enough. And it, it is some women that that'll just walk away from this. But in this case, I think that it was much harder for these women to walk away from these men because they're they're making millions. They want to somehow lock it down. And they couldn't. Okay? And it's a difference when it's a girlfriend, but when it's your baby mama and you are promising her things. And, you know, a lot of these girls, they're messing with their friends. People that's close to them as well. Some of them even messing with People in their families. Because there were rumors about Mo3 messing with more than one of the ski sisters, y'all. So how do you think, you know, somebody you messing with feel and you didn't mess with one of their sisters or something, okay, y'all? It's not a pretty thing. And Dolph didn't hide anything. A lot of people right now, they feel like they didn't even know Dolph was married. 
well, not married, but a lot of people was posting they didn't know Dolph had a girl. And, and the reason why they say this is because he was messing with everybody. He got phone numbers. He, he went and got whatever he fit, you know, whatever he wanted, he got. And people that were around him on a regular basis, for them not to even know that he had a woman and kids, that screams volumes. That is red flags all over the place. Because she wasn't even, you know, he wasn't even letting people know he was in a relationship, y'all. So that goes to show you just how bad he was out here in these streets with other women. That people are saying, I did not even know he was with someone. What tripped me out when he had the, the um, Caucasian girl on that video, the big one? And she looks as if she was put together like a builder bear, okay, y'all? There are so many natural, you know, black women that he could have put on his video. And he threw her on there. And I was thinking in the back of my mind, like, is he messing with this girl for him to have her all in the video? And they going out to eat and this and that and that and that. And look how she looked, y'all. She looked like she bought everything on her body. And they didn't put it in the right spots. Because some people go overboard with the, the surgeries. And that's what it looked like to me with her. Like nothing on her was, you know, natural. And I was like, why her out of everybody? If he was even going to put a Caucasian woman on there, why didn't he put somebody on there that looked, you know, non-plastic? Because that's how she looked. And I, that's the first thing that came to my mind. So, y'all, you know, stop acting like she has no feelings and she's, she's, you know, this power woman that didn't let things get to her. Because, yes, she did. Things had to have gotten to her. That's why now she looks so relieved. She don't have nobody disrespecting her. Okay, y'all? But she still has the money without the disrespect. So, you know, she stood to gain just like everybody else. Okay, y'all? Anyway, um, I didn't even want this video to get this long. But I just wanted to answer some of the... You know, the um, the messages in the comment section. Because people are saying that, you know, he went in there for safety. If that was the case, he wouldn't have stood right there in front of the glass. He would have went in the back somewhere. Okay? I don't think he would have just stood right there in the glass, in the front, just at for everybody to see him if he was actually trying to get away from somebody else. So I don't think so. Anyway, y'all, please like, share, and subscribe if you like this video. And thank you so much for watching. Peace.